We're recording now. Yeah, we've been recording for ages, mate. <laughs> mate, it's Santa in prison. Santa's in prison. Check that shit out. Is that why you refused to put Santa in prison? Because someone else had already done it? Someone else has already done it. This is yeah. not, he's not actually in prison. He's the warden, obviously. Oh, he's a warden. <laughs> That's why he's in Santa Claus's office. And you, can I see, think... and you can see that the guards have all been replaced by elves. Do you know, I think this might be the darkest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Do you think so? I've watched like Saw and Straw Dogs and 8mm and they're all pretty dark. Mm. But for some reason, this is just touching the inside of my soul and just screaming all kinds of wrong. <laughs> the fact that the guards are all elves locking up these prisoners, you think? These poor prisoners are just there making, making presents for... Yeah, oh, they are actually. Here's the workshop. Like you can yeah, see that exactly. they're, making, they're making stacks of presents for Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you want to really go nuts, this is what really got me the most. Even the riot police are wearing Santa Claus hats. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite funny. Look, it's That's quite cool, isn't it? That's brilliant. Yeah. Who did this? Um, good question. I'll put, the, I'll put a link up on the video to where you can get this mod because it's a yeah. pretty good one. Um, we've had a couple of really good ones. Actually. We had another one that changed the whole place for a boarding school, an English boarding school. And um, it replaced all the teachers with, well, it replaced right. all the guards with teachers holding rulers. And, uh, right. Right. and it replaced, like, if you called in the riot police, they were sort of like, they were the priests from the nearby Prefects. church. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> and they came and bashed everyone over the head with Bibles. Oh, and stuff. Brilliant. Yeah, it's that's really quite brilliant. good. So this is, the, uh, this is the modding system in use, right? We're seeing people actually making good use of it, making a Christmas mod in this case. Yeah. Nice snow on the trees. And um, probably um, this will be a perfect opportunity to see into the first main new feature, which is that you can now share your mods over Steam. Yeah, nice. Yeah. So thanks, Mr. Leander, Leander Hamley, to that one. Hamley, He's extended yes, the indeed. system. And now just, just in the way that you can share prisons, you can now share entire mods. Um, right. And if, cool. you, if you go to the Steam Workshop now, well, there's none there at the moment because we've only been testing it, but... If you go to the Steam Workshop, you'll be able to download mods like this one that people have made and just subscribe to them and they'll just show up in the mods list awesome. in-game. Right, so, so me. you had something so. to show me, didn't you? Yes, I've done some work. Okay. Now, when I say I've done some work, obviously I haven't. Yeah. But I have been instrumental in, in some work being done, <laughs> in this case by, by Andrew. Y yeah, you, you've, so, you've caused other people to do work. That's right, that's right, which is my role. Okay basically. Mm. So um, a while ago, we changed our uh, registration script for a sexy Google Web Toolkit app, mm. which um, probably most of the community <laughs> haven't been using. But if you head over to um, prison-architect.com forward slash register or that URL that Chris has typed there, if you log in there, mate, with your forum ID. Yeah. And now if you see at the bottom there, that little name in the game editor. Ah, yeah. Yeah. yeah see, so you can click on that. Right Ooh. now, look, look, you see. So oh, this has got. Do these on work? The don't, no, don't look at that. Don't jump ahead. <laughs> don't jump ahead. Look, I don't jump ahead in your demos, do I? <laughs> All right then. So look on the on on that left hand side, you can see the standard bio stuff that mm. you've been putting in so that's all the same as before. You can you know change that and keep submitting them, and then we approve them or not, as the case may be. But what well, that's not very nice, is it? Oh, no, yeah. don't you I'll always write that. I'll stop there, shall um, I? All right. Uh, I only did that once. Um, and on the <laughs> on the right, this is the new bit. See? We've decided to allow the prisoners uh, or the players rather who have submitted their name in the game bios to to a certain degree customize their right. their in-game characters. So you can see that at the top one there. If you have a click on so those arrows, can I click on them now then? Yeah, yeah. Is that all right? Do, only the top one. Yeah, you cycle through the different. Oh different man, places. I love it. I love yeah. it. So this is, just for, this is just for people with a name in the game tier, is what you're saying? That's right. It's just for people with a name in the game. Now, um, <laughs> Can I click on the next one? Yes, yeah. That's body type. Look at that. You see? I love it. It couldn't get any further away from what I actually look like. That's good. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and now at, at the that bottom... One, that one's me, isn't it? You can click on the bottom and um, you can have... Uh, it can skin, change. <laughs> you can change your skin colour, but only to, you know, flesh tones. I love it. I love it. So you can't go purple then? No, no, you can't go purple. Oh, that's a shame. Um, so at the moment, this uh, isn't quite working for face in the game customers, people that have their actual face in the game sprites. 
they'll customize their body type, but their, the face that will appear will be their actual face in the game, not one of these custom ones. Um, and for a short time only, we'll pop the URL up, uh, we're offering a name in the game upgrade for $10. Wow. So, um, <laughs> cool, isn't it? That's a bargain. Pretty cool. So <laughs> if you haven't digitally immortal, criminalize yourself. <laughs> Do you remember that was a year ago that I first said those words? Yeah, I think it was more than a year ago, mate. It was, uh, yeah. it was 15 months ago. Yes. So we've got some new features in the game, right? Um, you can now go to create new prison and you'll see some new options. Generate uh, yes. forests, generate lakes, generate buildings. This right? is brilliant. I've been banging on about this for like months and months yeah, and you've yeah. done it. Yeah, exactly. So let's have a look, right? So, oh, here's a nice map. So check that out, man. So we've got look a little bit of, got some forestry over yeah, here. Got some different tree types. Tell me you can't build over a, over a tree. Oh, you can build over a tree. Of course you can build over a tree. Uh, the tree will get removed. And uh, you've got some derelict buildings left behind and some sand and things. There's a bit of landscape variety, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, now does, it, does it affect the, the, the manner in which you build your prison? It though? does. It does. Okay. In fact, each of the three things affects it in a different way. So right. la lakes, it's fair to say lakes are the most experimental of the three <laughs> features. <laughs> yeah. um, you've broken it all, you idiots. Right, so there's a good example, actually. So you've got some nice little lakes around the edge of the map. Right. I like that you keep it in with a dark prison theme. Yeah, they're, they're not, not they're not prison lakes. lakes. No, they? these are like these are like sand pits that have been filled filled with toxic waste or something. Exactly. Yeah. So straight away, so for example, you can't build utilities through where there are lakes. For example, yeah, okay. you can't build anything over a lake. Right? Um, they're just they're just a blockage. You know. Do they always come in from the outside of the map? No, it's it's completely random. Uh, let's have so a look. you can get a complete uh, a. A lake in the middle of your prison. You can get a lake right across the entire road, such that it's impossible <laughs> for your workmen to ever stop. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why it's one of the more experimental features. But this is a good... <laughs> that's brilliant. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, oh, I could have spent ages writing a test routine right, yeah. to make sure that, you know, it was valid, but I just decided that players can just start a new level. Fuck them. Yeah. I mean, Jesus... <laughs> So here you can see an example of where hey, the lake... The, the someone's just rocked up at the door. Hang on. Okay, then. It's, it's not like we're doing anything important or time critical. Jesus. You still there, mate? Yeah, I'm still here, mate. Sorry about Along that. Along with 60,000 other YouTube viewers yeah, who yeah, are wondering yeah. why we just put four minutes of silence... In the video, while we wait for you. professionals. I'm going. To go. I'm going to leave that there. I have to go pick up my Ricardo. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. So I was explaining then. This is a nice example of a prison that has a road going right the way through the middle of a lake. There'll always be a road, yeah. but sometimes the lake will actually cover the deliveries and garbage zone, um, and you just have to move them. So this right. this prison actually started out. You can see the edge here, right? See the boundary, right? That line. Oh, yes, there? yes. Yes. That, yes. That was the original edge of the map, and I've bought the neighbouring plots of land. Just to show okay. that the, the generation does work in neighbouring plots in a, in a sensible way. Well, that's clever, isn't it? It's very clever, isn't it? Yeah. You're good, you're good at this prop gen stuff, mate. Yeah, now the thing is, so it's not just... This is nice because, I mean, if you had to build around this lake, you'd, you'd end up with a very interesting shaped prison, wouldn't you? Yeah. Lakeside views for all your prisoners. Yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> um, I bet it stinks, though. It looks like it stinks. Yeah, it doesn't look like a nice lake, does it? No. What else can you do? So the trees, then. The trees are some interesting new features. Right? So if we go to... Uh, the objects menu and click on dismantle. Now, I'm sorry, it's still dismantle. All right, I haven't done. I haven't made it. I haven't made it say harvest or cut down or anything yet. Right, We've still but, got you know eight nine years before we finish this game. Yeah, and well, we can get. Uh, <laughs> we can ask our workman to cut all the trees down. Right, check that shit. I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. They've, they haven't got a very strong union, have they? No. Because normally they'd be like, I'm a I'm a workman, not a lumberjack. Yeah. This isn't my job. This isn't even remotely related to me. So they'll go ahead and they'll go and cut down all the neighboring trees. And it's kind of like a natural resource that exists on yep. your level. Um, so in this particular case, it's not a huge amount you can do. Right? You can make, if you want to, you can make a storage zone like this. And your workmen will busy themselves organizing it all. Okay. Dragging it into the storeroom for you, which is useful because you can sell the lumber, right? You can okay. go, to, go to the objects menu and there's a sell object option. 
Right, uh -huh. and you can go ching, 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 ching. Yeah. Like so. There you go, I just made a thousand dollars selling lumber. Right? That's all right, so, yeah. Happens immediately at the moment, and in future we'll make them take it away on a truck yeah. or something. Yeah. But, you know, it's it's a start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, but ultimately, right. they could be preparing this wood, couldn't they, into planks? Funny, you should say that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you that feature a little bit later. Um, I want to show you something else while we're here. There's a yeah. new object type called a road gate. Right? This is a much requested new feature. Right? It's the only object that you can build that's allowed to span the road. Okay. Right? So you put this down here, and yeah. maybe we'll put another one down here. Perhaps. Okay. Maybe that one's a bit far away. I'll put it over here. Yeah. Now, what the hell would you want to do that for? Right? Well, you can't normally secure your road. Right? You're, it's impossible to secure your road in such a way that prisoners can go through there as a secure area. Right. So if prisoners are ever on the road, they've basically escaped. Right. Because we never let you. You can't build fence over road, right? right so if you wanted right. to build a prison on this side of the road, you can't. as well as on this side, you can't because you can't join them. Right? Right. Because there was never any way to secure the actual road area. Well, now there is. Now right? you can. Now you can. So I just need to do a quick cheat I'm like that. All right, so let's let those workmen just do their thing. <laughs> Building a fence. So you can see what I'm getting at here, right? Yeah, Here's yeah, the new yeah. road gate, right? You can still click it and open it like that. Yeah, oh, you have person. to. It'll open automatically. No, it's, just like, it's a door. So if you put a guard here, right? Whenever trucks arrive, he'll do his thing. Yeah. And he'll open the gate for them and let them through. It's quite nice. It's got like these little yeah. one-way tire barriers and everything. Oh, yeah. It's nice. <laughs> yeah. It's nice. They call those... What do they call those? I can't remember. Vipers or something. Something to do with a snake, I think. Really? Yeah, yeah. I saw a name for them. <laughs> I missed a bit of fence out here. Yeah. And so once you're finished with this section, you'll notice that in the deployment screen, uh, as they finish it up, it becomes a secure zone. Yeah, okay. Or open finish it. There you go. All right, so it's now a zone that yeah, you can set. Yeah. You can make it a staff-only zone, which would be sensible, wouldn't it? You know. Yeah, I think but, so. I mean, because guards can still escort prisoners through a staff-only zone. But the point is that you've secured the road and you can now bridge the road area. Yeah. All right. Let's move on, shall we? Um, yeah. I'm going to load that lovely prison that we were looking at in Alpha 15's video. That we segregated. So we're back at this really nice large prison again. Yeah. And I've done some work on this prison and I've modified it a bit. And they've got a secure drop off zone just because it makes so much sense. Yeah, yeah. And what I'm going to do now is buy this neighboring plot of land $40,000 for 8,000 square meters. Sounds good. Good value, sounds, mate. Good sounds value. quite cheap, that, doesn't it? Next to a prison. I suppose it is. I suppose that would have a bit of a negative effect on uh, value. High value real estate. <laughs> all right, so uh, let's get the uh, let's ask our workmen to knock all these trees down for us. I haven't really had time to put a good user interface feedback in yet. Yeah, and we'll get some feedback on this. It's just a red it. box. Players and well, I think maybe it needs to have like a sort of floating axe or something. Yeah. <laughs> and while they're doing that, there's another thing that you can do now, right? You, you can now, well, you've always been able to plant trees, right? But it didn't make any sense, right? The workmen would come along with a box, a wooden crate, <laughs> and they would unpack it and a fully grown tree would emerge. Right? Yeah. Which didn't make any sense. All right, so now the workmen don't do it anymore anyway. The gardeners do it now, right? So yeah, you need to yeah. have some gardeners hired at your prison. So let's hire some gardeners. There we go. They look like chefs. Yeah, they're in their little green uh, country folk gear, aren't they? Yeah. Can you do I've a never country seen a folk accent? Wearing... You're, you're from a country folk background, aren't you? We can't read and we can't write, but that don't really matter. Because <laughs> we come from Zermersett and we can drive a tractor. <laughs> That's really now, good. After you alienated the Germans and the French. Yeah. Now, Somerset. <laughs> now we're starting with regions of the UK. But I, I am, I'm from Somerset, so yeah. you know, I, I'm allowed to do the accent. Little known fact, that. Mm. Uh, right, so those guys are busy uh, cutting down trees over there. So you can see that what's actually happening now is these trees are being born and they're just little saplings. Right? Uh -huh. That's all, oh, they're, that's all they're actually nice. out of them. It's little, little, little delicate saplings yeah. right, that will be crushed if anybody steps on them. Yeah. Um, and they will, they'll grow gradually and uh, into fully grown trees and you can harvest them. And it's, it's another form of industry effectively right. because right. you can grow, the, if you've got lots of spare space, you can grow them and you can harvest them. 
Yeah. And then those trees, so I asked them to cut down these trees down here as an example of what will happen a little bit later in your prison when you've got a fully functioning workshop. All these wood logs will be taken to your workshop instead of being sold straight away. <clears throat> right, lovely, lovely. And your workshops you obviously have got your tanks. workshop saws, so your prisoners will chop all those logs up into a more refined wooden plank, right. um, which you can then, you still can't do anything with it. You still can only sell it, so sorry. Yeah, that's okay. That's, <laughs> okay. that's, that's good. You can, that's make, good. you can make more profit from selling wooden planks than by selling yeah. them in their log form. Because you're exploiting um, the um, you're cheap You're exploiting labor. your cheap labor to form it into a more usable uh, product. Um, but it sells for a higher price. Now, eventually, eventually, we're going to get onto carpentry and getting prisoners to do actual trade skills and stuff, oh, using nice. this yeah. stuff. And you've got your gardeners planting. And I think eventually I'll get the prisoners to plant as well. Right, right. Prisoners and gardens and things, that sounds like Yeah, a... I reckon I'll create like a little forestry zone or something. So yeah, the prisoners yeah. automatically plant trees and then harvest them later. Yeah. yeah which would be pretty cool. And then, and then trees need to burn in a fire. Well, I know they, it's not really real, but... They do know. that already. <laughs> to have, yeah, yeah. They already do. Yeah. So you can see some of these little trees turning into um, oh, yeah. little little baby trees. You get less yeah. less wood out of them if you harvest them at this point. Yeah. You've got to wait for them to grow fully. All right. So. Um, That's good. Very good. Yeah. So we're expanding on the production. So you can see he's all the logs lining up, getting ready to be cut. Yeah. Now, throughout this month, I've moved Johnny off performance and got him to work on some really serious AI challenges in the game. He loves um, that, doesn't he? He loves an unsolvable problem. Oh, he does. Well, not unsolvable, but just very, very hard. Yeah. Now, you might remember previously, you could segregate cell blocks, and you could say, this is a maximum security cell block, yeah. and over here, there's a minimum security cell block. Right? And it, but it never worked beyond the cell blocks. Well, now you can totally segregate your entire prison. So if we look in the deployment screen, this is a fully segregated prison, right? Here we go. The orange zone is the medium security only zone. So only, yeah. only medium security prisoners are allowed in this zone. Okay. And the blue zone is minimum security only. So the blue zone guys, here they are. All right. Okay. So you can see we've actually segregated two canteens here. Right? We've yeah. got a min sec and a medium sec canteen. Right. Um, and you can do the same with the workshops. You can say it would make sense. It wouldn't make any sense to do that because your minimum security prisoners can't right. get here. Right? Yeah, yeah. But you could do this, and you could yeah. have this be a shared workshop, and you could have this be a medium security one, like this, right? So you can freely adjust the, pro the permissions on any room, and the prisoners will respect it. The shared mean any security? Right, so a white zone means it's shared, means any prisoner can go in there, all right? Not so just min and max, or no, min and... any min prisoner. So any this prison. workshop, can only be accessed by minimum and medium security prisoners because yeah. it's white, but it's only bounded by those zones. So okay. no, no maximum security prisoners could get here, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, and this actually extends to all the areas of the game. So we've also fixed a number of long-standing problems. For example, multiple kitchens never worked previously. They, it was extremely inefficient. The, the chefs would spend all their time. The chefs would go, and this is a bad example because there's two kitchens right next to each other. But if you had two kitchens on opposite sides of the jail, the chefs were so stupid that they would go and collect a piece of bacon from one kitchen and right, walk right. all the way to the other kitchen <laughs> yeah, and yeah. then cook it in a frying pan. So we fixed all of that. And you can segregate the kitchens as well, like we've done here. So only minimum security prisoners will work in this kitchen and only medium security prisoners will work in this kitchen. Yeah, yeah. That all works. Same with workshops, same with laundry. Laundry now works. So for example, if you made this a shared zone and this a shared zone, this laundry is now accessible from this medium security area, yeah. but it's also accessible from these minimum security prisoners, right? right. Because right. they're in this zone and they can walk through this shared zone. Might get some fights and things. So this laundry will have both types of prisoners in, yeah. and that's important because that means that that laundry will service all areas of the prison. Yeah, yeah. But if you make it a medium security only laundry, it will only service medium security areas of the prison. Right, right. right. Some seriously clever AI shit going on behind that's the scenes to make this work. Is clever. As it even works if you have broken zones. So you've got a medium security laundry here, say. Yeah. But you've got maximum security all the way over here. So you've got no way for them to reach this medium security wing. It yeah. understands that shit. And it will not try and go there. Johnny's got his Dykstra out, hasn't he? Yeah, he's done he's done a transitive closure mate of all possible sectors within the prison. Uh, there we go. Right. There we go. And every sector to every sector. Closure, kids. 
<laughs> I had to ask Johnny to remind me what the fuck transitive closure was because oh, it's been a long you. time since I've been at university. You know? should have phoned me out. I know about that. Oh, do you? Yeah. <laughs> All right, then. I won't quiz you, just to make sure. No, nah, you don't need to, mate. You know. Okay, fair enough. Um, all right, and that's most of the main features. There's one last thing that I wanted to show you, which is um, I'll demonstrate it on our tradition, traditional Alpha 2 test prism. Yeah. I've noticed on that prism that we were just looking at there, Desert View, and on a lot of prisms, it's become very common to leave all the doors unlocked. Right? So you see these doors are locked open. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, a lot of the time, we just see people just do this. Right? They just set whole sectors to be locked open. And the prisoner's just kind of like, yeah, that's fine, you know. I don't mind. <laughs> yeah. Leave all my uh, doors locked open and I won't do anything about it. Because it's much more efficient as a prison to leave all right. your doors open, right? Because you don't need guards everywhere unlocking. Well, yeah. those days are over, right? Because <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if you continue to leave your prison wide open, your prisoners will actually take advantage of that now and attempt to, uh, attempt to do a run for it. <laughs> they won't all go at once, and your more dangerous prisoners will go first, but pretty much once they start to realize that there's an escape underway, they'll all get in on it. Right, and, right. And uh, you'll be forced to call a lockdown and have a bit of a fight to stop it. Ah, <laughs> that's going <laughs> right. to probably break some prisons. Yeah, so anybody that's planning to load their existing prison, and they know that all their front doors are unlocked, yeah. they might want to lock them pretty quickly. You better not load it. Yeah. You better might get ready on that mouse. You might want <laughs> Twitch gaming at its <laughs> finest. They won't run away straight away. <laughs> they, it's not immediate. And in fact, if you unlock the front door, you know, your prisoners all the way over here won't suddenly run away, right? Because yeah. that doesn't make any sense. It, it does spread. It does ripple out gradually from the front door. But, yeah. you know, your days, of, your days of leaving your prison unlocked are over. I'm sorry, yeah. but they yeah. are. They're over. They're over. <laughs> all right. That's all of our new features for Alpha 16. Oh, mate, that's, that's, that's pretty amazing, you know, especially considering... Uh, We've all had Christmas and things. It's a, so. it's a pretty big alpha update, I think. I think that AI update that Johnny did is a major change to the game. And it's going to make a lot of stuff possible that wasn't possible previously. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, just one more thing, mate. Yeah. If there's a path from A to B and a path from B to C, <laughs> got to make sure there's a path from A to C. <laughs> That's all from Mark and Chris. Uh, this was the Prison Architect Alpha 16 video. If you've not already uh, bought Prison Architect, head over to prison-architect.com and join in, please. Uh, for the next two weeks, we're offering a Name in the Game upgrade for only $10. So head over to somewhere for that as well. And um, we'll look forward to seeing you all next month. Cheerio.